Hey guys, what's up? So, over the past few months, I've been playing with a 3D modeling program called OpenScan. I even used it in my soft robotic adapters video. OpenScan is quite different from most modeling programs, as it uses code written by the user to create a design, as opposed to a UI found in an interactive modeler. This makes it useful for making designs based off mathematical equations or specific patterns. In this video, I'm going to give you a bit of an overview on getting started with OpenSCAD. Once you have OpenSCAD installed, open it up and enter a new file. You should see the viewer and the editor. Start by looking at the viewer. Like in many CAD programs, you can orbit around a point, zoom, and pan around. In OpenSCAD, drag the left mouse button to orbit and hold and drag the right mouse button to pan. To zoom, use the scroll wheel. At the bottom of the viewer, you should see a toolbar with a bunch of icons. These include positional snapping, orthographic slash perspective views, and some other things that we'll get into a bit later. Now for the coding. The OpenSCAD language is pretty easy to learn, but prior coding experience does help. Most CAD programs allow you to start with some primitives or basic 3D shapes. OpenSCAD allows you to do this too. We'll start by making a cube. The syntax is cube with the side length in the parentheses, and the line with a semicolon. If you press the render button at the top of the editor window, you'll see that a cube appears at the origin of the viewer. It's quite similar for other shapes, like cylinders and spheres. For cylinders, input the height, radii of both sides, and the center. For a sphere, just enter the radius. Check out the OpenSCAD cheat sheet that I have linked in the description for more descriptive syntax. Now that you can create objects, it's time to move them around. The move function will move what objects have code inside its brackets by the inputted x, y, and z values. The axis identifier in the bottom corner of the viewer is helpful for this. Things are pretty similar for the rotate function. Just input the degrees that you'd like something to turn. Keep in mind that the axis of rotation is around the axis of direction. Where OpenSCAD really shines is in parametric modeling. Let's say you wanted to make a box with a cylinder of the same height on top of it. You could code a given sized cube and a same sized cylinder and then move the cylinder up by the height of the cube, but if you wanted to change the size of the cube, you'd have to change all the other values too. If you coded it to only need the size of the cube and have your computer figure out the rest, then it would be parametric. You can do this in OpenSCAD with variables. You can make a variable by writing a name and setting it equal to a value. Now you can put the variable in place of any other value. With our example, you'd need to put it in place of the height of the cube, the height of the cylinder, and then the distance that the cylinder is moved on the z-axis. Then, regardless of the size of the cube, the cylinder will always be on top. Now, this was by no means a comprehensive lesson in OpenSCAD. If you want to learn more, check out the docs that I have linked in the description. What'd you think of this video? Do you want to see more OpenSCAD content? Let me know. Anyways, thank you for watching. If you like this video, then you should know what to do. And if you want to see more videos like this, then subscribe. I'll see you later. XYZ in, out.